So, I recently got back from vacation. Uh, thank you guys all for welcoming me back. And uh, there's something I wanted to address. I wanted to make uh, a video that didn't involve a script or anything like that. I wanted to do something that was completely from the heart. And the thing I wanted to address most is the censorship. When it comes to, I guess, newer Dragon Quest games, I was going to say just Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake, but honestly, it's the entire series at this point. Now, I kind of think that both sides are pretty dumb. Like, you've got people that have never played a Dragon Quest game, have zero interest in this franchise whatsoever, making clickbait Dragon Quest videos talking about, oh my god, Sweet Baby Inc. has destroyed this franchise that I've never even played or looked at until now for clicks, right? Like, you've got that side, and you've also got the side that's you know what? No, I don't think there is a side that wants the censorship. The people that are doing these videos for clickbait saying, Oh, you're just, you're just like those uh, moms in the 90s and stuff, like when it came to like Mortal Kombat and stuff like that. No, there's zero, there's not a single person, alright? There's not a single person, uh, not a single fan that is like, we want Dragon Quest to be censored. We want it to be more, uh rated G or PG or E for everyone, right? To me, Dragon Quest is a T uh, series. Rated T for teen, you know what I mean? Um, it's always had little sexual innuendos and stuff like that, and the art style is is Akira Toriyama's best at, at some times. I mean, I was talking to Happy Console Gamer on the, the weekend, and we both kind of agreed that Dragon Quest VII, despite it being like my third favorite game in the series, has some of the worst artwork, probably, and especially when it comes to, like, the characters, the, their designs, and just the characters themselves aren't really all that good in Dragon Quest VII, I feel. Uh, but anyways, that's a topic for another video. If you do enjoy Dragon Quest content, and you enjoy JRPG content, and you just enjoy what you're seeing right now, please remember to like this video, subscribe, and turn notifications to all so you won't miss the next one. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and it's only possible with your help. So, with that out of the way, let's talk about it a bit more here. So, yes, they have changed some of the character designs. Not much, not barely any, really, if you think about it. Like, you've got uh, now recently the warrior, right? They've got the shorts under their... It's basically a loincloth, but it's made out of like that pink steel color. Like the warriors in Dragon Quest, they wear pink steel, all right? And uh, it's got, they put yellow shorts on her. I'm not too opposed to that, honestly. It doesn't look bad at all. I think, I think they're going for like a skin color look so that it doesn't look as obvious. But I honestly think it would look better if they put black shorts on her. I don't know. I think it would just fit better. I don't like the top, though. I don't like them adding the uh, a top at all. Like, she, she kind of had like that bikini top. And I think the most... Uh, the most obvious and the the biggest offender of this was when they redid Maya's look from uh, Dragon Quest 4. And I don't know what game was the first game to do this. It might have been the Dragon Quest Heroes series. I'm pretty sure it was in Dragon Quest Monsters 3 The Dark Prince. But I don't like... It, it just looks kind of dumb because the way it's like... I don't know. It doesn't look right. I think if you're going to do it, there's a way to do it and a way not to do it. And this is how you don't do it. But... Uh, they could have just made the cup size bigger or something like that. Because you can see a little under boob or whatever, which is fine. I have no problem with it. I don't think any single human being that has played Dragon Quest has ever had a problem with it. Uh, but I do think these clickbait content creators who've never played a Dragon Quest game sure sure uh, want people to think that they do. And, and I'm speaking for... Honestly, for the first time ever, I'm speaking for all Dragon Quest fans when I say not a single one of us welcomes the censorship, alright? But there's a way to do it and a way not to do it. And I think putting like a pull, like a, a tank top shirt underneath the bra, it just doesn't even make sense. Like nobody does that in real life. 
and uh, you never see that in animation or video games either. Just make the metal the metal cup size a little bit bigger uh, so that you're not seeing the underboob if you're going to do that. If you want to censor that a little bit, whatever. It's not the biggest deal. Here's the other thing. It's not the biggest deal. For the most part, these are the images that you would see in, like, the instruction manual. You know what I mean? In Dragon Quest 3, uh, or Dragon Warrior 3, or any version of Dragon Quest 3, you're looking at a, a character about this big on the screen. You know what I mean? You're not gonna notice a fucking difference. It's not gonna... Oh my god, this game is trash. You can't see her cleavage now. Horrible. Dog shit garbage. Like, this is how people are rage baiting right now. And the, the whole, uh, I don't support censorship, so let's not buy it, is a huge detriment to the Dragon Quest series and is mostly just going to hinder the fan base. Because if people don't buy Dragon Quest 3 HD2D remake and they don't buy Dragon Quest 1 and 2 HD2D remake, we won't get a proper remake of Dragon Quest 4, 5 and 6 on modern consoles. They'll say, "Look, hey, there's no market for Dragon Quest." Or worst worst even worse so, there's no market for it in the West, which is what we've been suffering through for our entire existence as a fan base. Ever since basically Dragon Warrior 4, there's been nothing. Like we people that are new fans maybe don't understand this. You should, but I, but maybe you don't understand this. We didn't get Dragon Quest 5 and 6 here in the West. We didn't get a Dragon Quest game between 4 and 7. So the entire Super Nintendo, which was a JRPG machine and a, and a console that was kind of advertised as JRP machine was completely missing out on two big games from our favorite franchise and then after that we got seven which they mm, classic enix did not market worth a damn and then square enix rarely markets any any dragon quest games like they're definitely getting a lot better i would i must admit like dragon quest monsters 3 uh the dark prince and uh, Dragon Quest Treasures kind of had some good marketing, and they're doing a great job marketing Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. And I think to shove that back in their faces and say, "Look, we're not we're not going to buy this," is is a huge insult to both the developers and to the fan base because we could be back in the Dark Ages like that. This is the best time to be a Dragon Quest fan. I made a video on that, like, not too long ago. But this is the best time to be a Dragon Quest fan. We're getting all the best Dragon Quest games. We're getting all the Dragon Quest games that are releasing, for the most part, here in the West. Finally. This has not been the case in, like, probably, like, 20 years. We got Dragon Quest VIII, we got Dragon Quest IX, and then there was a huge gap again. As far as spin-offs, we've got barely any of them. We're getting a lot more now, but... People love uh, Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime on the Game Boy Advance, for example. Well, that's actually the second game in the series. We did not get the first game in that series, and guess what? We didn't get the third game either on the 3DS. We didn't get the Dragon Quest Monsters remakes on the 3DS, which are absolute incredible games, by the way. We didn't get Dragon Quest Monsters 3 Joker Professional. Hell, I don't even know if we got Dragon Quest Monsters 3 Joker at all. So there's just so many games we missed out on here in the West, and I think the fact that they're finally bringing everything that they have to offer to us here in the West, we need to appreciate that. We need to support that by buying these games. It's okay to voice our concerns with the way things are going censorship-wise, but we also have to realize that it's not just us in the West that are getting the censorship either. No, Type A and Type B has been something that's been around in the Dragon Quest series for quite some time now in Japan. I want to say back to, like, maybe the Wii generation, because it's in Dragon Quest X. Dragon Quest X came out originally, like, on the Wii and that time period. And Dragon Quest X's always been Type A and Type B for your characters. And that's quite a while ago, man. That's like, I want to say like, like 2008 or something like that. Maybe 2010 at the latest. That's a long time, dude. That's 14 years. This isn't modern gaming changing the way Dragon Quest is. That's just, it's just how it's been for a long time. Another thing people have been complaining a lot about, and I'm adding this during the editing process of this video, is the priest's new design, which isn't really that new. So the original design was like a cross way back when, 
and they added like a kind of a, a, a pronged look instead of a cross. But this has been around since Dragon Quest VIII on the PS2, and even earlier, Dragon Warrior 1 through 4 on the NES had the crosses removed and supplemented with the kind of star design. And they also, instead of calling it God and stuff like that, they refer to it as the Goddess, which in my opinion gives the series a bit of its own identity, because they're not praying to God or a specific God or anything like that, they're praying to the Goddess, who could be seen as Ramia or something like that. It's just something that I've never had a problem with and in fact actually enjoyed. If you're going to be able to have more people enjoy this great franchise that we all love and, and appreciate and cherish with all our hearts, what's wrong with that? How is that a bad thing? I, I don't understand that part, the type A, type B. There's nothing wrong with that at all. The censorship, yes, I think everyone has a bit of a problem with it. But when it comes to not supporting a new Dragon Quest game that is getting full support in the West as far as marketing and confirmed to be released here and stuff like that, I think that's horrible. I think we need to cherish what what they're doing for us. They're making this HD2D remake. Hell, we didn't even get... When uh, Dragon Quest 1 through 3 were released on the Switch, yeah, they were kind of the shitty mobile versions of the game, just like upscaled for the most part on the Switch. But guess what? Those games were also released on the PS4. Those games, when you beat Dragon Quest XI for the first time on the PS4, the original version that came out, once you beat the game, now, spoiler alert for the next, like, 15 seconds here if you haven't beat Dragon Quest XI, but the ending of Dragon Quest XI, the very ending, the true ending, ties in to the beginning of Dragon Quest III. Once you beat that game, you unlock a copy of Dragon Quest III on the PS4. Dragon Quest 1 through 3 did not come out here in the West on the PS4. You have the same people. You have the same people mad that those games didn't come out here on the PS4 that are also mad and saying, don't buy Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake, don't support this because there's a tiny bit of censorship that is not going to affect the game whatsoever. So yeah, that's where I stand on it. That's where I think most people stand on it. I think... It's all clickbaiting and rage baiting and stuff like that. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And this is kind of the way the internet has gone, man. Kind of the way YouTube has gone and content creation has gone. It's all about rage baiting. It's all about being fake. It's, it's all about catering to whoever or whatever you think is going to give you the most clicks, the most views, and the most likes. Anyways, if you appreciate honesty, if you love Dragon Quest, you love JRPGs, and all that stuff... Please remember to like, subscribe, turn notifications to all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.